these universities are based in Canada, one of the best destination for students, especially international students. For the obvious reasons, I will share that briefly. They have automatic scholarship. These universities, the two universities I'm going to share today, based in Canada, automatic scholarship. You don't have to produce your English proficiency. So you don't have to produce uh, how proficient you're good in English. That means that you don't need to do the English test, the TOEFL and all that to prove your English profi proficiency. You can combine bachelor's and undergrad. You can go straight to your PhD. I mean, they have scholarship for both undergraduate, master's, PhD level, they have research assistant opportunity, they have teaching assistant opportunity, they have scholarships, and they have lots of programs. It's amazing because a lot of you have requested for universities in Canada and I had to go do my research just to give you the right information. And today we have this exciting, exciting news. Please stay tuned as I take you to the laptop and take you through the various universities. In the meantime, I'm Sheila Van de Graaf. I am a second year doing my master's in the US. I'm also a research assistant. I'm currently doing my video in my office. I'm a research assistant and I support a program through our, uh, our office. And it's been an amazing journey. This is my second master's. <laughs> so I have wealth of experience and I'm currently also hoping to progress to PhD. So I'm also in the journey of just, you know, um, continuing finding the right information. Apart from being a student, I'm, I also run a non-profit organization that supports vulnerable youth and women. So stay tuned. <laughs> Please subscribe, like, comment, and let's go uh, and search on those universities. If you're here for the very first time, thank you for joining. If it's your second time, Thank you so much and thank you for being part of the family. Um, if you haven't watched, I have already posted 12 universities in the US that don't require application fee, that have automatic scholarship, that have, you don't need to put, uh, share your recommendation letters or transcripts or, you know, so there are 12 of them. Go into my channel and if you're interested to study in the US, I already did some very good universities for you. So. Without further ado, let's go to the universities in Canada. So I'm going to start with a university in the heart of Toronto, uh, Ontario. So this university, um, Ontario, Toronto, this university gives you an automatic scholarship. The moment you just apply, by you just applying, you automatically have a scholarship on your application this is amazing so let's go to the website and see how best we can go about this the beauty of this is that the scholarship both covers the undergraduate level and also the master's level so it's both for you know if you want to study your, uh, your bachelor's your undergraduate or you want to progress to your phd level and you know or your master's graduate level i mean this is the university for you so let's go into the undergraduate. Let's start with the undergraduate and what they have. So when you click on it, I will share the links to all these universities. Don't, don't hassle yourself. I'll share the links on how to go about it. I just want you to follow step by step because a lot of you are reaching out to me with questions that I've already highlighted in my videos. Please don't skip. As I'm providing the step by step in, uh, direction, you'll get to know that a lot of this information are just on the video so this university has lots of programs but i want us to go direct into the financial the scholarship so in this university you have international entrance scholarship and awards so they say awards which do not require application are not are noted with no award it means that you are automatically considered for these scholarships I don't want to read a lot into this. I'm just excited. <laughs> but for other, so they say, for awards requiring an application, complete and submit the international student scholarship and award application form. Application 
opens as from December 1st and closes from December 1st, 2022. I'm sorry about that. And closes on February 3rd, 2023. Now, you have room to start applying right now. The moment you get the admission letter, you've been accepted to this university, immediately start your application uh, for these scholarships I'm going to share. But remember, once you apply for this, uh, uh, to this university, you will automatically get a scholarship, okay? It is not much, I'm going to share. Um, so these are the automatic, once you get in, you get uh, automatic scholarship that ranges from 1000 to 40000 to 10000 depending on your program but that's not the heart of it so we, we see we have uh, awards we have york university talent um, talent entrance scholarship we have entrance scholarship liberal arts scholarship uh, which is $40000 we have liberal arts which is 2000 faculty of science arts 2000 science scholarship ten thousand dollars glindon international scholarship which is ten thousand uh, five to ten thousand dollars among others anyway so let's go to the scholarships that are you know the big time you know hundred percent scholarship So international scholarship, university is committed to giving broad demographic students access to high quality research intensive and you know, name it all. To be considered for the scholarship and awards below, so the ones I'm going to share right now, you must submit application. You must submit your application. I'll share with you how to go about it. So then, important dates I've shared with you, the, uh, it opens, the application opens on 1st of December and closes on 3rd of February. So for you to apply, get me clear, for you to apply for this scholarship I'm going to share, a nine digit York reference number is required. So, this this you will receive within five days of applying to york you must submit your application to this university by january 15th latest okay so guys you still have a lot of time we are now in october if you decide to apply to this university you almost guaranteed to get a hundred percent scholarship and this scholarship takes care of your tuition takes care of your education tuition health <laughs> health insurance takes care of your stipends you know general survival in canada it's very expensive to live in these countries so the requirements for you to apply for this scholarship so the moment you apply like let's say you decide you want to apply to this university by tomorrow you will automatically get uh, and you will get a nine digit number after five working business day and this nine digit number is what you use in your application for you to get these scholarships why did i start with scholarship a lot of students were telling me don't worry about programs we are just interested about the scholarship so today i'm starting with scholarships so that you get it you get the gist of it so the requirements for you to get these scholarships you must be an international student who is required to have study permit this one you know the greatest news actually now that you mentioned it canada has changed their policy for international students international students can now work off camp can now work off campus they used to work 20 hours now the, it has changed so they can work off campus for more than 20 hours so long as they remain as full-time students and they don't have a description for you know how long so so long as it goes by the regulation labor regulation within your within the country within the jurisdiction within the where you are please follow those labor laws but they're not clear on it's not clear on how many hours i just envy students in Canada, because in the US, you only, you're only supposed to work 20 hours a week, and 20 hours a week is limited to 
within the school within your university you can't work outside and if you want to work outside you must request for a special permit and yeah you, i mean it's it's different so congratulations to all those who are in canada but again you must remain uh, you must continue to be a full-time student for you to qualify for this that's a by the way and sorry for distracting <laughs> i just thought i should share this so you must have that study permit then you must have applied to an undergraduate degree that begins in fall 2023 so apply now it's all very clear on the website and i'm going to share this link by submitting the international award you will be considered for scholarship listed below so let's go through the scholarship so there's the uh, president's international scholarship that awards you 180,000 canadian dollars 180,000 Canadian dollars. This is for undergraduate. So it means that every year for your four years, you'll be getting 45,000 US dollars. 45,000, uh, I'm sorry, 45,000 Canadian dollars. And this is going to support your year. So, so this, this scholarship, it's awarded to 20 students. I mean why don't you also be part of this this is really nice this is for undergraduate level so one hundred and eighty thousand dollars this is amazing then they have tendanda via award tendanda i don't know i don't know whether i'm pronouncing it <laughs> in the best way so these are awards over 15 students and they're given over one hundred and twenty thousand Canadian dollar uh, for the four years not every year for the four years so that means that every year they get 30,000 Canadian dollars so I forgot to mention that for you to get this uh, the scholarship for this university you just uh, go to the website go to the financial aid section the financial aid section will provide you with all the information and i was talking at uh, i was looking at uh, the various awards so this one will give you will give over 15 students 120,000 canadian dollars that's amazing go and check it out we have the global leader of tomorrow award 80,000 you get 20,000 for every 20,000 every year for 4 years then we have uh, international cycle of scholarship york university scholarship among others so this university has variety of scholarship and we are talking about for now you know the university i'm talking about this is york university it's based in toronto ontario canada this university has a very good reputation and it's well diverse it's in an english speaking area so you don't need to learn french and when you go to the um, admission requirements when you click on it it will take you to my school curriculum so that you check on the program so when you click on that it will give you u.s high school international uh, whatever general certificate blah 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 and some countries there i see west african senior school certificate wase and or national examination for some countries their their high school program has not been captured so if you cannot see your school high school program here you just click on others when you click on others it will show the countries i see albania algeria argentina australia you know kenya uganda it gives you so if you are program is not highlighted on that don't panic you just click on the other program and it will show you one thing also I wanted to tell you, under the admission, there are other questions that people ask about TOEFL, you know, how can I go about it? So when you click on um, the language, about language, I can't write TOEFL or language proficiency requirement page, you'll realize they give you direction. Do I need to take a language test? And the university tells you, you, you are not required to submit proof of language proficiency. You're not required, okay? And they give you countries, um, they give you list for full year study of English, high school, you're exempted, 
all that is listed here i don't want to go into the details of it and then they also list for you the countries english proficiency exemption list and i see ghana kenya lesotho nigeria seashells zimbabwe it's a long list they're exempt you are exempted from submitting uh english proficiency so this is wonderful guys and i don't want to go into programs I've told you how to go into programs. So this is what I wanted to share with you. We are talking about York University. It's a wonderful university. Please apply to it. You'll get automatic automatic scholarship. You'll get feedback between four to six weeks of your application. Immediately, if you want to get those 180 as an undergraduate, go for it. I'm going to quickly to touch on graduate graduate studies so graduate they have a lot of programs again so as a graduate you'll go they have programs you can save the programs as you go by so when you click on that it takes you to your graduate fellowship how to apply you can click on how to apply to just know um have a, a an overview of what the admission requirements are application guidelines and all that then important dates and i don't want to go into that i want to go straight into finances finances how much should i pay how much will i get in terms of funding so this university has lots of um financial support in terms of ta you can be a, a teaching assistant or you can be a research assistant but there are also some fellowship or scholarship or financial opportunities you don't have to um you'll get funding without you being a ta or a or an ra so it, if you go to the funding packages again i'm going to share this link they have the master's fellowship which is uh, they have the funding uh, opportunity of twenty one thousand. This takes care of your master's fellowship, your healthcare, master's fellowship of $19,000, um, healthcare $1,000, then 756. So it comes to a total of $21,000. Then we have uh, other things that go by. Uh, so I'm going to share with you all these links so that I don't repeat myself. I don't, I don't have to go through, you know, uh, step by step giving you the, the, the application process the, i i just want to tell you that this university has lots of opportunities for both undergraduates and the graduate level and you know also worth noting when you're applying for graduate uh, study in this university you have to get you it's important that you do apply and then get an advisor when you go to the website as i've shared as i'll share when you go to the website you reach out to your uh, advisor, you identify your adv advisor, you reach out to them, and by you getting an advisor, it's also almost automatic that, you know, during the admission process, also you'll also share with them during the admission, uh, the application that I've reached out to this advisor and she or he is ready to work with me and all that. That gives you an upper hand, that's a tip. So how to go about it? They have their contact details here. You'll see all the information on how to apply, how to get to advisors, the faculty members, uh, the scholarship, the programs, and all that. I don't want to make this video longer than it already is. So thank you guys. That's for this university, York University in Ontario. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. So the second one, I'm going to go straight into the scholarships. I don't want to talk a lot about the programs and all that. I'm going straight to scholarship. So this university is, um, it's a wonderful university. It specializes a lot in business and business studies and all that. So they have various scholarships. They have the Souda scholarships and awards. And this scholarship, actually for this university, you automatically qualify for, you automatically qualify to get a scholarship. You can combine your programs. You can do dual programs. You get uh, your feedback for to six weeks, which is amazing. Then uh, you have a wonderful community. So I'll go straight into the scholarship. So they have one of the scholarship that's important. Oh, I need to read this. To qualify for the following scholarship, you will, you will need to meet the merit requirements and apply deadline. 
apart from that apart from the other scholarships i'm going to mention all applicants this is highlighted all applicants auto are automatically considered for the following scholar scholarship upon application so upon you applying you automatically get one thousand dollars then you automatically get again in the link you you see it you these are the scholarships you automatically get then there's the early entry scholarship there's the regional it's important i mention this regional top talent scholarships this it targets international students if you're from asia they have te uh, the value is ten thousand to sixty thousand dollars if you are from south and latin america ten thousand to six thousand dollars um europe ten thousand to six thousand dollars sixty thousand guys it's sixty thousand ten to sixty thousand um middle east ten thousand to sixty thousand and canada ten thousand to fifty thousand this is targeting people from this region middle east and africa i was wondering where africa was <laughs> You get ten thousand to sixty thousand. Unfortunately, I'll have to mention that the deadline for this talent scholarship have already passed. Their deadline was on October eleventh, twenty twenty-two. For people in Canada, they still have time. The deadline is January tenth, so they can go forward and apply for this scholarship, talent scholarship. But for the other regions. The deadline has passed um, it was supposed to be the deadline was 11th of October but don't worry because we have other scholarships I'm going to mention so uh, one scholarship that you also need to look at is women in business leadership scholarship this for top applicants with a demonstrated passion and commitment towards achieving gender parity and supporting women in business and leadership the value for this scholarship is between ten thousand to sixty thousand. The application deadline for this scholarship is fourteenth March, twenty twenty-three, for international applicants. So, if you are applying from anywhere in the country apart from Canada, your application deadline is fourteenth of March. For Canadians, it's May. This is amazing. So, by June, you shall have gotten your feedback you shall have gotten everything way forward there's also the responsible business and community spirit scholarship the responsible business and community spirit scholarship for top talent with strong background in sustainab sustainability social entrepreneurship and commitment to social causes i know of amazing people who are doing social enterprises this is for you guys the value is ten thousand to sixty thousand the deadline is on 14th march 2023 so you still have time to apply for this scholarship then you have the hog family mba scholarship i don't know that i'm pronouncing it well <laughs> the value is twenty five thousand canadian dollars and the deadline is 14th march 2023 then let's go to harry harry fashioni i don't know <laughs> dedicated for international applicants who demonstrate aptitude in academic excellence up to 50 so the value for this is up to 50 percent of tuition scholarship deadline again 14th march mandu vashi again there is the dean scholarship this prestigious merit-based award is open to canadian citizen permanent residents and international applicants who embody all that value is between twenty thousand to sixty thousand dollars now this is the dean entrance scholarship so guys application for this is 14th march international talent scholarship 10 to sixty thousand deadline 14th march michael and sonja indigenous scholarship dean excellence scholarship 10 10,000 to 60,000 uh, dollar this dean's excellence in diversity award different from the one I'd mentioned 10 10 to 60,000 dollars 10,000 to 60,000 dollars 
deadline 14th march for international students I mean you can go on and on and they also have external scholarship they've recommended they have Aga Khan Foundation American Association for University they have Association of Commonwealth in so they've uh, they've also recommended other the following external organization offers or administer a variety of scholarship for both domestic and international so I'll also share this in the link so that you can also explore these scholarships so i'm talking about university of british columbia university of british columbia school of business this is a nice university and it has lots of scholarship it has lots of programs i don't want to go into the programs if you want to if you want to check on the programs you just click on you click on the programs it's very direct you click on the programs and then you search on whatever programs apply best for you okay then they have variety of school engagement they have it's a very nice university so if you're one person considering you want to go study in Canada these two universities are universities you should explore as I mentioned 100% scholarship automatic automatically when you apply you get certain level of scholarship if you need help in application I did for free and I can help you this is out of the experience that I've gone through and I feel happy in empowering other people because I'm here simply because other people sacrificed and supported me with my journey I don't want to be alone in this i want to support as many people because i believe education is power i believe in education i believe in um, knowledge i believe in sharing and by you sharing i'll be so happy if you take this opportunity to share this video with your friends and family who will be looking for such opportunities especially those who are requesting some universities in canada and also take time to subscribe to my channel like comment whether you are interested on in more universities in canada or i should come back to the u.s universities or probably you want me to do another to do a um one for uk australia please comment and let me know and i hope you're impacted with this video thank you so much and be blessed